What is up, YouTube? That's it here, bringing you guys another set of VGC 2021 Series 11 Ranked Battles. Today, we're busting out a fan favorite on this channel, and that is the good old Sunroom. Calyrex Ice with a little bit of Venucol. This is just generally one of my favorite teams to play. This is one of the teams I always make every single season because I feel it's the easiest team to play with if you want to just get to Master Ball. The easiest team to play with if you want to learn the game because if you're winning, cool, you're winning. This team's probably going to get you like seven or eight wins out of 10 every time against pretty much anything that you're playing. But if you're losing, you're like, okay, I lost and I know the exact reason why. Like, oh wow, I didn't respect Tapu Fini enough. I didn't uh, dedicate enough resources to stopping this or that Pokemon had safety goggles or something. So I generally feel if you're learning about VGC and you want to learn more uh, at a really fast rate, this is the team to use. Because, you know, if you get that big trick room up, you know, it switches everything up and the game just goes at your own tempo because basically you know that you're always going to be going first because our things are slow slow we're using like speed reduced natures on all these pokemon for the most part uh you know other than the venusaur and uh, we're using like iron ball and Muga, so you can always be confident that you're going to be going first if you have your trick them up which is you know just great for newer players other than that let me know the answer to the question of the day i'm currently recording this on the second so this isn't like five days worth this is just one day um let me know if i should do a no shave november challenge you know i got a couple people asking me if i was going to and I might, you know, depending on the comments section. So leave a comment letting me know. And uh, last but not least, this team will be up on Patreon probably around the 5th or 6th. I don't know when this video is actually going to go up on YouTube. But it'll probably be up on Patreon. So if you can use this team for yourself, think about checking it out. And other than that, let's get right onto the games and see how well Calyrex Ice does in Series 11. Here we go. All right, so the first game of the day going up against Soul Galeo. I will say that like probably one of the worst matchups for this team is like Feeny and Sin teams. Feeny and Sin can just be an absolutely massive problem, especially if your opponents get up screens. So I think I might actually want to be going like with Hat this game, just because uh, Hat can be a big bully versus Grim. You can one shot the Grim, put the G Max Smite, put the Confuse on the Soul Galeo, puts us in a pretty decent spot. Um, also, like Hatterene doesn't really get one shotted by like Moltres if they want to go for like. For example, like, uh, they can just, like, crit kill my Calyrex, but they can't just one-shot my hat, usually, even if they get a crit. So I think hat is a decent lead. Um, I think we need to go Indity to redirect, and I think the last two mons should probably be, like, hat. Sorry, uh, like, Torkoal Calyrex. Now, this is actually harder than it looks. I might actually have to use Vino as my maximum on this game. Yeah, it might actually be, like, max Vino. Like, what if I went like this? What would they actually do if I just, like, went with this? I think it can actually be a really good lead. Hmm. I think we have to play a little bit greedy. Like, I think we have to play greedy like this. And then we're not really going to have some trains. So, like, Hat is not nearly as good. Ugh, this is really hard. I think we actually have to just bring Amoongus as a second redirector. And, you know, Amoongus isn't, like, terrible, terrible in this match. If we wait up the Feeny terrains, we can put up Spores. And we can always Pollen Puff things. The problem is we're not going to have any Psychic terrain to activate our Seeds. Not that we realistically need them, but yeah, I, I would say that, like, Soul Galeo is a really bad matchup for Calyrex, in my opinion, even though we have high horsepower. But, like, it's the Insinfini that are going to make this really, really difficult. If they're smart, they'll probably lead Insinfini. Just because you have so many options. You have the access to potentially fake out. It forced me to bring in my NDD. Um, there's just there's just so many variables. And if you want to, like, weave up the Feeny for the Venusaur, we can be in a great spot, but they usually don't. <laughs> so let's see. How do I actually want to do this? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna just switch up my Calyrex this first turn and try and one-shot that Soul Galeo with the Max Flare. That'd be kinda nutty. Do you think they'd let me get away with that? Do you think they're maxing Soul Galeo or are they gonna Trick Room, Trick Room? They, they might just stay in and go for a Sunsteel Strike. I'm gonna try it. And then we're just gonna literally ignore that Moltres for like 10 turns. <laughs> I mean, I guess we do have access to like Amoongus with Calyrex like later on in the game if they max the Moltres. We can come back in and go like, you know, Rage Powder, hopefully that safety goggles and just, uh, you know, set up a TR or something like that. Let's see who they're maxing. I think it's going to be really important. Um, max Solgo. Oh, looks like I'm maxing first because I got the big Chlorophyll boost. If they're not maxing and just setting up like a nasty plot, I don't know how big of a deal that is either. You know, Venusaur sucks versus uh, Moltres, but, you know, we'll see how this goes. I'd love to just pick up a KO on their Solgo A here. That'd be absolutely amazing. And in my opinion, you have to respect, like, my Calyrex at least a little bit, right? At least a little bit. So you got to max with something. All right. And if you're maxing with Moltres, you're not getting the um, 
Nasty Pop boost, you're just potentially getting an Airstream boost. Moltres also can't one-shot Venusaur, so that's nice. Awesome, so Max and Solgaleo. I don't know if I can kill this thing, but I'd probably rather fight, like, Max Solgaleo than Max Moltres now that I think about it. Because even if they don't Max the Moltres next turn, I can just set up a Vine Lash. And then, like, fade away, bring out Calyrex in the back, win the game. Alright, big flare. I'm gonna see if it's policy. It probably is, right? Probably is the big policy. So that's almost within range of their life orb. Oh, that's a crit. Wow. It's a policy. Oh my god. Big deeps. Big deep. So I can kill that thing next turn. Let's see what the Moltres is doing. Are you really plotting with the Moltres? Rock ball. Okay. So no more sun. Wow, what an actually good read. That was a really, really good play. Like, this guy knows what's up. This guy knows what's up. Hmm. Do we, that means we have to go Amoongus, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, we're going to have to go on Moongus. And Fire Wrath doesn't do anything. Be thick. Yeah, we just go Amoongus. We're going to lose the Amoongus. And then, I guess the best play that we realistically have is just to Vine Lash the Solgaleo. Hopefully, hopefully we, he takes out from Vine Lash. But there's the Amoongus here. Who knows? This might force in the Feeny as well. You know, a good player could think about maybe even going like Max Guard Venusaur into like, um, you know, what is it? Sporing that thing? I'll just play standard. I don't mind going Rage Powder. Rage Powder into... I, you know what? I really, really hope this Vine Lash ticks it. Because I really want to get the Vine Lash dot up. I think Vine Lash plus the tick should be able to take out the Soul the Whale. And again, I wouldn't be super surprised to see Feeny switch in here. From Moltres' side. Because, like, Moltres isn't really that needed in this exact situation. Unless they want to, like... Yeah, I don't even know. I, I really just think, though, that um, Feeny's a good switch in here if they have it. G losing our... Uh, Losing our Torkoal hurts. Let's see what they go for. If they hit the Venusaur... Well, actually, we're never, we're never gonna know. Who are they hitting? Quakes up. Ooh, that's gonna be harder to deal with. I wonder if I die. He's a plus two, but yeah, cool. I'm actually happy that I don't have to... Like, if they wanted to Air Slash here, this would be damage that my Venusaur doesn't have to take. So it's nice. Alright, and there's the Air Slash. Cool, Venusaur's not taking that. That's awesome. That's actually, like, really, really nice. Problem is, they probably have an Ensign in the back. And, like, no lie, like, Ensign's really good versus Cali late game. That should take it out, right? Please just go away. Please just go away. Survey says. That Moltres is going to start taking it out, too. Go away. Alright, we take those. <laughs> Alright. So Cali's down. I traded two for one. But I still have one more turn on my max, which is really good. Like, they can't send out the Feeny right now. It has to be in Sin. Has to be in Sin. I wonder how much damage Ro Rockfall will kill that thing. So, that's cool. I'm going to Rockfall if we have to. If they send out the Sin, I'm not going to TR. Yeah, I'm not going to TR. I'm just going to Rockfall the Sin. They're probably just going to go fake out of my Cali. Would they fake out my Cali? Hmm. Would you fake out Cali if you were in my situation here? Or would you just Flare Blitz by Venusaur? Because if you fake out my Cali and like Air Slash or, or Fiery Wrath. Oh, what's the last one? Is the last one Feeny? If the last one is Feeny, and we can make so we don't die this turn, I think we can get ourselves into a situation where we probably win. So like we would protect here, go for a Rock Fall, which is a max strike in this Moltres slot. And then if they send out the Feeny, I just Leaf Storm the Feeny. And then high horsepower the incinerate win the game. So let's play that out. This is all depending on if they want to fake out. Do you respect Calyrex enough to fake out it? Or are you gonna be Flare Blitzing? I mean if they want to Flare Blitz into the Calyrex too, this is a good play. This also just keeps Moltres from like fiery wrathing my Calyrex, which is the right play, I would say. But we'll see. They're thinking about it. Long turn to think about it right here. This is the most important turn of the game. So are you fake outing or are you nuking my Venusaur? That's basically what the whole game comes down to. Fake out, cool, cool. It's almost like I play the game chat. I'm, I know you got that Feeny back there too. Ooh, disrespect, disrespect my boy. All right, so there's the orb. Yeah, this thing's super gone. So like Rock Ball, <laughs> super effective Rock Ball. There's still a Vine Lash, there's still a uh, Sandstorm and stuff like that too. So Incense actually gonna take a lot of damage as well. And let's just see what the last Mon is. I, like I said, I'm assuming that it's Feeny. Um, I generally think you should be bringing Feeny vs. Sun teams, but, you know, Venus already no slouch. Yeah. Let's go. That's a lot. 
And if he takes a Flare Blitz, like, I think my Calyrex can eat a Flare Blitz. Beanie, there we go. Yes, please. Yes, please. And thank you. I wonder if we one-shot Beanie with uh, Venusaur, though. Do what you guys think. Do you think? I, I think we might. I'm going to go for it, for sure. Um, and just go for my Trick Room. It's probably better to get the Trick Room up right now. And that way we can just start using Calyrex correctly. We'd have to hit the Sleep Storm. I wonder if they're going to go Protect... I can't, I can't do anything about this, by the way. If they want to go protect me and play with my Venusaur, I can't stop it because we don't protect. So let's see what we got. I guess I could just nuke. Actually, yeah, I probably should have just went for like a nuke into the Ensign. If I'm being completely honest, like a Weather Ball into the Ensign slot. Probably could have actually done that. Hindsight 2020, I should have done that. Just throwing that out there. Call mine. Bro, he's faster than my Venusaur. So he's going to live. It's gonna definitely get the big live out here. Feeny's faster than my Venusaur, huh? That's nutty. Let me go. Let's go. Can I get a crit? Can I get a crit? That's a lot of damage. That's probably actually within range for, uh, unless they're Citrus, that's probably within range for, um, whatever move with my Glacial Ants. Yeah, that's fine. So Trick Room is up. Yeah, Leftovers are gonna get counteracted by the, what is it? Whatever Super Thing is. The Sandstorm. Holy moly. I'm recording this game at like 6 in the morning. Leave me alone. <laughs> so Trick Room's up. Alright, let's think about this. There's one more tick of Vine Lash. Look at this damage. Show me the Citrus. No Citrus. Maybe a Pinch on the inside then? Pinch Feeny? No, no Pinch Feeny? Alright, Lefties. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so let's actually see. Is there one more tick of Vine Lash? That'd be super good. That would basically just kill the Feeny. Oh, there is. Wow. Yeah, if I just protect, I win then. Unless Feeny fucking... I don't even know what Feeny could do. Yeah, just go for a protect. Feeny will take out. Ah, man, Vamlash is so freaking broken. Yeah, I was thinking, um, normally, you know, that probably wouldn't have KO'd, but... Uh, like, the Vine Lash, I set it up a turn late. Like, normally Vine Lash felt like it would have expired by now, right? Didn't we all think that it was kind of over? But, yeah, like, it took a... We, we set it a turn late. Do I need a high horsepower here? I think I still need to. Please go away. Don't be at one. Awesome. Yeah, I'll just I'll go for the high horsepower. I, I think it's still the right play, because we're at minus one, and our Calyrex does not have full attack investment. So I think we're just going to go for the high horsepower. I basically have like two shots to hit it. Battle's canceled. We win! I think that's actually my game that puts me in Master Ball too. Um, I've just been playing, you know, my games just... I think I've uploaded every single game that I've played so far this season. I think that's my game that puts me in Master Ball. Let's go check. Let's go check and see if I got put in Master Ball because of that game. Uh, I'm, not, I'm playing this... I think I mentioned it earlier. I'm, I'm playing this game on like the second. So it's not like I'm playing this game on like the fifth or sixth whenever you guys are seeing it. Played a few games yesterday. Yeah, I'm eight and two. So let's just see if this puts me there. What do you guys think? Survey says, just let me in. Yo, just let me in. Uh, I remember the one time I fought someone when I was in Ultra Ball that they were in Master Ball. It was so weird. There we go. We take those. Master Ball for the season. Feels amazing, man. Top 300. Better than nothing. Let's go in another game and see if we need some more wins with Calyrex. Here we go. Obviously, now that we're in Master Ball, we have to shoot for rank one, right? That's, that's how this goes. I'm actually really, really surprised we won that last game. They had every tool to beat us. They had Solgaleo to beat Calyrex. They had, um, like, I didn't get any eruptions off. They had Fiend, they had Sin, they had all the tools. Groudon is a matchup that I can probably win if I play correctly. So, it's it's so weird against Groudon teams, and if they ever want to be, like, super defensive, sometimes I love going, like, just into the Torkoal and just popping them in the mouth. Like, for example, if they want to go, like, Porygon Venusaur, or like Incineroar, Venus, or, or like anything like that. Though. Anything that doesn't have AoE. So if they go like anything but Groudon, we just absolutely destroy them with Torkoal. But I'll go, I'll bring Torkoal in the back. Um, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with going like Indidi. Do I want an Indidi Hat here? Because Indidi Hat's better than Indidi Rex. Um, because Indidi Hat... Actually, that just loses to, like, Zard Groudon. They're probably going to go Zard Groudon, right? So if they're going to go Zard Groudon, that means I probably want to go Venusaur. Probably Venusaur... Is it Venusaur Hat that I want? I, I, I like the hat. It really tunnels them into having a specific play style. 
and then you bring Torkoal Cali. Let's try it. it. A good player here would lead Groudon um, Zark and just go Heat Wave Precipice Blades. That's what a good player would do. And so we're going to try and pin the Groudon and maybe fodder the Venusaur. And then from there, we'll see what we can get done. But we'll see. They have to also respect Sleep Powder. That's like another big thing. So like, you know, if they see me going like Torkoal with, or sorry, a Venu with the potential switch in Cole, you know, they have to respect my ability to Sleep Powder their Zard. And Groudon isn't as good versus Venusaur. You know, you have to Heat Crash it and I can I can max if I want. So you don't really want to go for that. So yeah, Venu P2. I, I love this. Uh, we're going to, we're going to Trick Room and just Bind Lash. Uh, do I want to Bind Lash? Because there's the Venusaur on the board. I think I might let them Trick Room me and just Weather Ball their Venusaur. Max Strike. And it's just switching the Torkoal. Like, bro, if you want a Trick Room, you know what they say in Beauty and the Beast. I think it's Beauty and the Beast. Be my guest, be my guest. I don't remember this song. But, yeah, let's just see how much damage. Uh, they might be Sashed over there. That'd kind of suck. Um, if there was a Sash user on this team, it'd be that Venusaur. And we're Master Ball now, like you guys saw. So we're playing against the world's best. The best the world has to offer. Other people that are making rank one pushes on day two. So let's see it. We don't really need to set the sun to like enable our Venusaur because we will that Venusaur. But we are setting the sun so we can make our uh, weather ball turn into a fire attack. It looks like we're maxing first, which means they're probably not maxing. They shouldn't be going for a sleep pattern or a hat slot because I have magic bounce, right? They shouldn't be doing that. Let's just see what they do. They might just be slower than me too. They might just be slower than my Venusaur. I only have like 60 points in speed though, so like I'd be surprised if like, you know, I was I was faster than them. And are they maxing the P2? That's kind of what it looks like. I would love to see max P2. Sign me up for some of that. Some max P2 action? All right, we're just faster than that, which means they're bulky as shit. They're, they're the bulkiest boys we've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen a Venusaur slower than mine. Hey, let's go. The real restricted out here, Venusaur Ally Switch. Oh, the Degeneracy Incarnate. Yes. Yes, do it. Slay. I think they thought I was going to go for, like, a Vine Lash into the Porygon. So, like, I'll stick that damage in a Porygon over, like, Vine Lashing a Venusaur slot. And then, ooh, okay. Into the hat slot, right? Yeah, that's fine. I told him to do shit. You can kill the next turn, too. I don't really care. He has to be bested though, right? He totally has to be bested. He's orbed. All right, that's fine. I mean, Vine Lash would probably just kill the P2 here. I'll read the ally switch. Let's go. I want to see if they're going to, like, now that they're at plus one, I want to see if they try to, like, go for a max floor back into my Venusaur. They won't kill me even if they're at plus one with a life orb. I don't think I'll die. That's nutty just saying that. Just saying, saying those words come out of my mouth feels weird. Let's go. Ally switch again. Cool. Yeah, we read that. So depending how they want to play this, they're about to take some big damage. Yep. That works for me. That's a lot of damage. That's put within range to do whatever I want, basically. And a max quake. Another torque slot. Yeah, go for it. You can totally have that. And so I think all I have to do is like just send out Calyrex, and then I, I win. I think I have to read the ally switch one more time. I think even though they got a quick off, I still think because they got a life, that life orb tick, I still think I take them out. I'll read the ally switch again. I'll, I'll play, I'll play greedy. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not doing anything else today. I'll read the ally switch. I actually really want to set my Vine Lash, though. Let's think about it. If I don't set up my Vine Lash, I will be sad. No, you have to read the Vine... You have to read the Ally Switch. I think you just go for a hard read. You have confidence. Gotta play with confidence. Please KO this Venusaur. And Porygon's within range to where, like... Glacial Lance does a lot. Like, Glacial Lance plus Deagle and we take it out. Oh man, if they just, like, don't ally switch and recover. Alright, they're ally switching. It's like I'm a good player. It's like I'm the best player that's ever played Pokemon in my life. Holy moly. Yeah, but just think about that. If they would have not ally switched and recovered, holy moly, we would have just lost. Please go away. Oh my god, I'm so good at Pokemon. You ever seen someone as good as Pokemon in me? I don't think so. 
The double ally switch. Actually, that's a triple. That's a triple ally switch degeneracy. And I'm gonna take a free TR. And I don't think that Porygon can just eat this in the face. I don't think that Porygon wants to eat this in the face. I mean, it can eat the Glacial Lance, but it, it can't eat, like, everything, right? And now we're going to start doing AoE damage. Is hard? No, oh, Incin. That's fine. I wonder if I care about Incin. Like, I, I do care that it exists. A lot, actually. Incin's a big jerk, because now we're intimidated, too. They're just going to go... They're just going to Flare Blitz my Venusaur, aren't they? really bad. I don't have Sleep Powder either because we're on the Unvested set. I think we might just have to go for like big ass damage. We I, we like kind of have to crit it or get a Spedef drop. And if they want to go like Trick Room my Trick Room and save their ground on the back, like they'd probably just win. Yeah, and since a big jerk. Are they, are they going to go for the fourth ally switch? <laughs> yeah, we'll see it. Hmm. Let's see. Hat switching is not great here, but like it is what it is. Yeah, try attack. They're gonna they're duking the Venusaur. Oh, they're nuking the that slot. Okay. Yeah, go for it. You could totally kill this hat. Like I don't care. Like now I can come in unintimidated and you you took over half. So like now if I want to read and nuke in your Incin with a high horsepower unintimidated, plus whatever damage we stick from here. This would be nice. This would probably keep you... Oh, Shooka. Well, then that now my high horsepower works correctly, so good thing we did that. I was thinking about sludge bombing and fishing for poison, but I kind of just wanted to see if it was Shooka. All right. Yeah, things are still not not looking too hot for our hero. Like Again, like I've talked about, we don't have like full attack investment on this Cali, so I don't know if we can do the KO. They're going to ally switch with the Porygon, though, for sure, and Flare Blitz, so we're just going to read into that. And uh, we're just going to go for a sludge bomb onto the uh, incense slot, because it would just hit the Porygon, and I don't need to use anything else. So our best shot is literally this. Show me your ally switch, Chief. I'm literally in your head rent-free right now. Ooh, just kidding. I, had a, I lost. Can't read all those ally switches. Man. Well, never lucky. I tried. I tried. That's the power of ally switch P2. Is he trick him? Trick him? Yeah, he is. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, at least the sunlight fades. So the Flare Blitz won't kill me, but I think the P2, I, I actually think the right play might be to just Trick Room again. Let the Incin take a crap ton of damage, and then, like, reply back with, like, a Lance. If they're smart, they'd cycle out their Incin this turn to just start Intimidate and, like, fake out spamming. I haven't lost yet, believe it or not. I'm trying P2. Okay, so they're losing their proc. Are they party shotting? That's a good play if they're party shotting. There's the crowd on. Resets the sun. Oh, yeah. Resets the sun and sets up for this. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. If this doesn't kill me, we might win. Just straight up. I'm not going to lie. If this doesn't kill me, we might win. Don't burn me. Don't you do it. Yeah, because, like, Groudon doesn't fight Calyrex as well. as I have to crit it, I think. I think I have to crit it. Um, I literally am putting myself within shots of winning this game right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, these are most definitely shots. Protect, protect, Groudon. Give me a plus one. Give me a that's a plus one. Let's go. I mean, they're just sending the instant back out. Cool. Uh, I don't even know if this kills Porygon, so it's good. We just take, we, we're going to be right back where we started, basically. We're going to be a turn, off, uh, turn lower on our um, trick rooms, but it's all right. You. Yeah. So we'll get back, intimidate back to neutral, protect for one turn. If they want to sub, they can. Because, you know, we, they have the advantage there. And we can't play around that realistically, because they're just going to go fake out sub if they have sub. But if I crit the Groudon, I win the game. Um, so I'll, I'll take those. Imagine if I just, like, sword stance there. Something nutty if I had it. <laughs> yeah, if they... And then if they, like, next turn, if they don't sub here, and they just go, like, protect Groudon again... And don't get a double and let me KO the Incin for free. Uh, I'll have a plus one I can kill the Groudon with a single target Glacial Lance. If they step here, they win the game. 
Let's see what they got. There you go. Blocking that. And heat crash. Cool. We got shots. If we, if we crit the grout on, um, we definitely can win. So I'll play to my outs. Turns on trick number two, right? Yeah, they got to get... If they protect Groudon and Fodder and Sin, they have to hit a double. So they should just, like, double attack here. Unless they want to double, double protect. All right, let's go. Rolling these dice. Cali Rick's ice. Can we get a crit? Can we get a crit? Come on. I played my outs. Bro, we almost did it. Uh, yeah, a crit would have definitely KO'd. A crit would have KO'd. So, not bad. We are still going to lose, but, like, you literally can't say I didn't play to my outs against the the triple ally switch guy. We went for one over-predictive ally switch where I could have just took out the Incin, I think. And the fact that, like, we still almost brought that game back, that's pretty nice. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, we got pretty close that time. So, it is what it is. But, you know, don't say I didn't play to my outs. Kai Ogre. Kyogre Kingdra. All right. Well, I think you have to lead like Cole in this matchup. I like leading Cole Cali, and then you switch in the entity and get the Psychic Seeds boost. So like they can't, like this this should beat everything they're doing. And if they want to like lead Amoongus, we just hit them in the mouth. Like we we don't even go for the, we, we don't even go for the um, trick room. We just Glacial Lance first and then do all those things. So those three are just really, really good. Um, I think Hat might be really good as well because we have all the Psychic Trains set already. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. This should be a free win. You know, every time I say it's a free win, it's a lot harder than it should be. But um, that team seems a little bit too rain focused. Like all the cool, like Rillaboom, anti terrain, fake out users that like a different sort of team might have. This team kind of doesn't. As like King Trail Lecky, it seems really one dimensional. So we'll see if we can get some wins. Who knows? Like I don't want to eat like a Thunder from like a Specs Alecky. We already know how strong Specs Alecky can be. But like if you look at this board. Not only are we setting the sun, we're forcing a Kyogre switch in. If we're forcing a Kyogre switch in, that means one of their mons isn't attacking, right? Or they're casting Rain Dance. If they're casting Rain Dance, cool, they're not dealing damage, right? And so we're forcing them to respect these options, but we're also just going to be switching out the Torkoal for an Entity to give ourselves a Psychic Terrain boost, which will in turn activate our Psychic Seeds and make us even bulkier. Now, the only way that they can really do something about this is if they want to just like Wormwind our Calyrex and play the long, long, long game which isn't even necessarily wrong, um, but I think we'll eventually just come out ahead. So I'll show you how this works right here. How to beat Torn Ogre 101. Make it really hard for them to get anything done. <laughs> so, and this also stops the taunt. Like, it's so, so good. It's like the perfect lead. They never expect the Torkoal Weed. Show me the taunt. Show me taunt. Show me like taunt Muddy Water, I would Lamau. Rain Dance. And that's totally fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Rain Dance because we also just like got a Psychic Seeds boost. Like this is what we wanted anyways, but by leading with the Torkoal instead of leading Entity, we forced them to waste their turn there. They could have been hurricaning, right? I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna live unless this a crit. Yep. So if I had to eat a hurricane on top of that, I would, I would not want to, you know? So this is absolutely free. I think the right play is probably still follow me because I, I'm not gonna lie I, I think that they might just go do I care about this I have hat in the back yeah I'm actually just gonna expand because I want to break sashes and then I need train setters so they can max and get the KO on my Calyrex this turn but then I'll just send up my hat and I'll max hat and win the game we want to be able to pin things really really hard like that we want to hit that Kyogre as hard as humanly possible I don't care about your max king you're not even max king so you're probably gonna lose it look at this damage DPS Kelly Ricks popping it off out here the, the, the DPS and Entity taking out the KO. So it's good that we actually attack with the Entity. Yep. And look at this free damage on Ogre. That's so good. Ogre's at half already. That's amazing. Kind of like what I said, though. There wasn't that much that, like, this team can really do against ours. Like, our our team's kind of made to take out those Ogre teams. If they're not absolutely perfect. Lando is not the right bring here. <laughs> this, is gonna be, this, is, this means it's going to be a single target. Um, expanding force. If we just one-shot with... Exp with the ice, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking about max. I'm thinking about max ex max in the entity, but it's fine. We win. Doesn't even really matter. Imagine if Landers got wide guard. That'd be super busted. With Rock Hager, yo, the double fodder, yo, genies, remove genies, genies deleted. Are you gonna max this Lando? Shoot your shot, chief. Shoot your shot. 
I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Guys, it feels so good to just like have this Dynamax animation. It gives me time to just sip my coffee. This poor defenseless Lando. He, like, there's no way in hell he lives this, right? And maybe, I don't know, Lando's busted. I'm intimidated. But you can't hold the Yachi very. I mean, you can hold it, but it won't work. Like, I mean, I guess he lived. I, you know what? No lie. I guess you did live, right? You, in fact, did live, but not, not enough. It's probably actually EV trained for that. I'm not going to lie. Because, like, the Caliarx stuff that I'm using is, is, like, 156 attack, I think. Which is relatively standard. I'm, I'm a maxi entity. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. You can stop me. Don't stop me now. Cause I'm maxing my NDD, they're just gonna run anyways. Alright, they're just gonna run. We know this. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty quick game, but you know what? Like, you know, our team kind of just does that to people. If they, It's not that we beat Torn Ogre 100% of the time. It's that people, I don't think, even in the Master Ball tier, don't have their, like, their Series 11 like sea legs yet so you know they they're still kind of playing series 10 a little bit and uh like our team's just super ready for it like i said they didn't have the real boom in there and so they didn't have fake outs they didn't have anything to change the terrain and so like i said just leave the torque hard switch in the end you get the best of both worlds and it forces your opponent to dedicate resources into you know maintaining their weather instead of actually like dealing damage on the first turn even if they would have maxed the kingdra you saw we still would have lived that like the hydro pump wouldn't have been that much weaker than like a max geyser so Pretty good stuff. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this team will be up on Patreon. It might already be up, but it'll sh it should be up by tomorrow or whenever you guys watch it. Um, it should be up on by, by like the 5th or the 6th if it's not already up. And uh, don't forget to answer the question today. Let me know if I should do a no-shave November. You know, I think, I think we might have a good time. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.